Well, good morning in this rusty glove box here, and today what we're going to do on the on the uh, Peterbilt Lakester is we're going to install a uh, LED flasher. I'm sure some of you have seen vehicles that uh, they've gone to the expense of putting the LED lights on there, but they flash really fast. So anyway, if you use one of these flashers, that takes care of the problem. Well, good morning, and here today what I wanted to show you is I got a uh, LED flasher because I've got some LED tail lights and front turn signals. And the little flasher looks like this, configured uh, the same way as a regular flasher, but uh, in addition, it has this ground wire, and you'll hook that to a ground source. And what that does, it helps create an extra load uh, so your uh, lights will flash at a proper rate. If you can see on the bottom of that flasher, you see some letters, and the X is going to be for the power or fuse supply. Uh, L is going to be for lights or the load, and the P on that bottom terminal that's going to be for the pilot. So if you have like a, a turn signal that has a little indicator on it, uh, like what I'm using, this uh, you'll be required to have a, a three-pin flasher, and that will flash the little indicator on your turn signal. And what I use to uh, connect my new turn signal flasher into the wiring system, I used a headlight plug. You can get these aftermarket and I just wired it accordingly uh, to the uh, the lettering system on the bottom of the plug. Now with the uh, flasher plugged into the plug, I also on my power strip up here, uh, terminal block, I had a ground lug and it was on this pin here. So I wired that grounding wire into that bar. Well, I now have the uh, LED flasher uh, attached to my fuse panel. And uh, what I used was uh, some of these little tie straps that have the eye on the end of them. It makes it real easy to mount things uh, to different locations. And so I used two of them, just kind of did them loosely because I knew, you know, there's a possibility at one time or another you're going to have to remove it. And that way I can kind of salvage, you know, my tie straps, won't have to make new ones every time. Um, All right, with everything hooked up, uh, we'll go ahead and see how it operates. Well, this appears to be wired correctly, and as you notice, when I have it on four-way flashers, the little center brake light wire, it also flashes, which to me is kind of a plus. It draws a little more attention to there's something going on ahead. So anyway, that's how you wire up a LED flasher. This rusty glove box, and I'm out of here.